All right, well, let's hit it. Okay, here we go. That's good. Good evening, ladies and gents. Hold on to your hats. I'm going to take you on a jukebox journey. journey, 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 journey. Hit it, Steve! Our film opens with the Star Farm agents, three partners in the firm, Alex, Jamal, and Nicholas with two of the three entering the Star Farm office on a Monday morning. Star Farm agent Jamal Douglas arrives late, entering with the gem of Star Farm talent's Grammy award-winning artist, DJ Stewart. Most Star Farm music clients are of marginal talent. DJ Stewart is the real deal. reputation, a few wins, and many losses when launching talented big-time music deals. Star Farm Agency maintains a business model that promotes artists who more than likely will never make it to the Grammy stage. Star Farm's on the map in the music world. Let's get back to work. Man, our inbox is booming. We're on the numbers. All right. Man. All right, let's see, let's see. So, uh, so who's next? Who's next? Lil Cord. Is this artist? Yes, yeah, oh, my artist. Sir. Who is that? Who is that? There he is. Yeah, this song. My boy. How you doing? Why do you let such garbage people perform? Star from owners Alec, Nicholas, and Jamal are musicians who at one time dreamed the dream of becoming big time musicians. Together they wrote quality music, were trained in music schools, but drifted away from their dream because they found out all people really wanted was reality TV, drone style music, and music lacking real substance. Music isn't what it used to be, back when we were writing music. What do you mean? You know, I used to write music for somebody else. Isn't that how it's supposed to be? No, music is about writing something for yourself. Is that what it was? That's what I believe. They decided it would be best to join forces and give the public what they wanted, image-based music. Which brings us to where we are today. Star Farm agents aren't very ethical when it comes to business dealings. They continue taking money from people who want to make it to the big time. Because agents say image, not music sells, until something happens to shake things up. Sadly, that's not really what we're looking for, though. It's not really marketable. You have better chances working with an orchestra. Yeah, not really what we're looking for. But that's not what I want to do. I want my music to be pop music. Man, I have got to have that jukebox looked at. Oh, yeah. I got my song. You need 10 Gs up front. I can't afford that. Hey, why don't you think about it? Just give us a call. Taking money from people with no talent, Lil' Core has nothing. Y'all need to get hip to my songs again, because y'all forgot the tunes y'all were taught back in college. What happened? What happened? What happened? This is Louis Jordan, the Jukebox King. Back in the day, the Jukebox was the thing. 
You know Louis Armstrong? Yeah. He was a genius, man, and he barely survived. Hey, Louis Jordan, the jukebox king. some hits back in the day. Dude, we did write some hits back in the day. We really yeah. did. You know, all this, this music's got me thinking. About what? Okay, so I came across a little breakdown on the feed the other day. This music director is kind of looking for a, a tune about home or what we consider home today. I was thinking about submitting a piece that we wrote back in college. Let's bring it on. Yeah, I think we should submit it. Oh, wow. I think they're going to buy our tune. Hold on to your hats, Jess fans. We're gonna take you on another jukebox journey in part two. This story leaves off with Millie's music buying the star from Agent's song, Home. The agents are in high hopes for song placement in another film or TV series, but they're all unaware of the looming danger coming from above. We now take you to Millie's music, where a meeting is underway. Star from and Millie's music are celebrating the placement of Home in the upcoming Will Smith film when a news flash interrupts the meeting. Breaking news live from Chicago's Lakefront this morning with an update on that idiot we've been hearing reports about from NASA. NASA is telling us the asteroid from near Jupiter in the asteroid belt could come closer to hitting us than what we think. The asteroid, or meteor, as it's known, is the width of the island of Manhattan. Viewers at home, hold on to your hats. This could seriously impact our weekend forecast calling for showers. May have to switch gears and get ready for a steak grilling and marshmallow toasting. Back to you, Jay. No, I'm not sure about that. This could be a very dangerous thing. Meteors are really no joke. I'm not worried at all. Everything we see on the news is fake anyways. Well, is that all we have today? I came here to discuss the tune Home you bought for the aforementioned movie. We have three more songs for you to review this afternoon for the new TV series. We have a new hip tone called Melanin that I think will work well with your Michael B. Jordan series. Wait, yo, Melanin? Yo, I remember you played that on guitar for me over the phone. That song is so uplifting. I mean, DJ, you really know how to show love to the sisters, okay? And I mean, come on. I mean, what better way is that to recognize the original queens? I mean, baby, look, look. And don't forget about that musical gem of a talent I got for you, Shannon Calvert. Read in the trades that you bought the rights to her song, Enchanted Spirits? And now she's working here as head composer? She is? Not very marketable. Not. <laughs>
series so all right okay are you going to buy the tune then all right okay yeah before that silly meteorite the news keeps talking about kids earth we don't want that to happen do we breaking news from nasa the meteor is now two hours and 30 minutes from collision with Earth. If you live in the Chicagoland or Northern Illinois area, you must vacate. Land of Lincoln, take cover. I told you me meteors are dangerous. Takes me back. Remember I wrote a tune called Meteor? The tune bombed my career for a minute. Tell me this isn't deja vu. <laughs> that meteor tune was the one Miley Cyrus released. You know, <laughs> the one with the car chasing the meteor. <laughs> Bro, what were we thinking? Forget it. Not very marketable, but my song is... Sure is marketable, Shannon. And Millie Music just sold the rights. Girl! It's the new theme song for Disney's teen flick about corporate America being taken over by female aliens. 
Wait, what? Disney bought Millie's Music? When? No way they did. Because Disney told us to sit tight. Our tune was on ice for that movie. And look who's making money. They are, not us. I mean, we're straight over here, so... They said, don't shop it to anybody else. Might as well break it to you now, Star Farm, before you go read about it in the trades. Disney had our tune on ice, though. I'm confused. We were killing it. Now, who's running music coast to coast? No. What are you saying, Jamal? Good afternoon. The media hit at approximately 4.45 p.m. this afternoon, and our news team on it. I'm coming to you live from under the rubble of what appears to be tiny strands of 45s from the 60s and 70s. Vinyl was everywhere. <sighs> Everybody, let's get in here. The meteor strikes. Buildings everywhere are left with massive craters, resembling images of vinyl record singles. Though this meteor hit was much smaller than expected, the implications include a huge power interference and a supersized order of panic. Not vinyl. And he was talking non-stop about the vinyl tunes. We gotta kill the vinyl. Hey, let's kill the vinyl. What? Okay, let me make something very clear. Those 60s girl tunes that I was brought up on made me the star that I am today. So everything that you think you doing was already done by the music legends that came before you. It is because of old school soul that you even have an opportunity, baby, to step up in the studio. So do me a favor. Hold your tongue about the greats unless you're showing some respect. The ladies tune signed those old 45s. You know what? The kids are listening to Millie's music nowadays, not our song. Millie's music's on the radio. Hey, hey, hey! What are you all arguing about? That's why I'm here, people. I'm the media. You did. You didn't listen to Louis Jordan when I sent him down here when you all were taking money from no talents like Little Cord. Oh, <laughs> you don't remember? Hey, Jukebox, play my new hip hop tracks. That's what they want to hear, not this 60s jump and jive junk. Well, let me remind y'all Louis said Little Cord was awful, but Starfine. You kept taking their money, seeing you was gonna turn them into stars when you knew they couldn't write music. I saw you, Star Farm. You still writing mediocre music. <laughs> Why do you think Disney isn't writing Star Farm's music anymore? I notified everyone in the news media, told them to get ready because I was coming down here like a meteor to get your attention. <laughs> and lo and behold, I did. Shining my media sweet female fire down on you all so you can stop arguing, fussing, and arguing. Gentlemen, <laughs> your internet is out. It's out, all right. Gentlemen, we need great music to bring this divided world back together. Like that tune, Melanin. That's a nice one, Star Farm. It's good, but you need to listen back to some soul music. The tune you wrote called Home is great, but you need plenty more. Let the ladies shine for a minute. Music is the best medicine. And no better medicine than this next tune we're going to play for you by our narrator Jay Hall. It's called Just Dream. Take it away, Jay.
You'll be back in business with a tune to inspire your path. Let's play. We get that. We're losing this competition. Then it's settled. Let's get together and be on a mission to bring more soulful music to the world. Hey, real talk. If you can look up, you can get up. We survived this, man. So how about you say, after this, we gonna make a day with the ladies, make some music. Is that cool with you, Alec? Schedule looks all clear next week. I'll draw up a contract. I like the sound of contracts coming in the door. Music is a medicine. I'm just kidding, it's the medicine. We're stuck in a stuck in your, stuck in your set times. We was kidding, it's the medicine. We're stuck in a stuck in your, stuck in a stuck in your. This is the beginning of the journey. Who would have thought I would return to this crazy world to get you straight with music as the best medicine? Music, music as, the, as the best medicine. Music as the best medicine. Music as the best medicine. All right, well, let's hit it. Okay, here we go. Steve, last time. Last time. Two verses. Two verses. Cam, we need you smiling. We need you in the camera. Let's go. Congratulations, Nicholas. Congratulations, Jade Hall. Congratulations, Shannon Cabot. Great job on these compositions. Great job on the script. Let's put it together and let's make it into a film. Over and out. Go study your music theory. Go study your, all your gen eds. Go eat some great dinner. Be good to yourselves. Thank you very much. Great job. Great job. Great job.